how do you graph the parabola y equals 3 halves x squared? Well, you either need to know what the base curve y equals regular x squared looks like, or you need to know what its table of values is. The graph y equals x squared, that's without the 3 halves in front of it, goes through negative 2 comma 4, negative 1 comma 1, 0 comma 0, 1 comma 1, and 2 comma 4. Now I knew that because I know how y equals x squared works and I've memorized it, but also negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 1 squared is 1. 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1. And 2 squared is 4. This is your base curve, y equals x squared. And the table of values is the same thing. It's just written horizontally. Those are the exact points that I just called out to you. Now, what's the effect of this three halves? It is a vertical stretch by a factor of three halves, or 1.5. You're going to be 3.5, or sorry, 1.5 times taller than in the base curve. Now, one way to deal with that is to take your y values, and you can do this from the curve or the table of values, and times them all by 3 halves. So 4 times 3 halves gives me 6. 1 times 3 halves gives me 3 halves. 0 times 3 halves is 0. 1 times 3 halves is 3 halves again. And 4 times 3 halves is 6. What that means is that if we were going to draw the final curve here, we would put a point at negative 2 comma 6 negative 2 comma 2 4 6. I'm just going to label these axes for you so you can see where we are at. We'll have a point at negative 1 comma 1 1.5. That's about here. 0 0 is unchanged because when you stretch 0 it's still 0. 1 comma 1 1.5 and 2 comma 6. Now you'll notice that this curve looks slightly taller than the base curve that I drew over here. That's because each of the y values here, 4 and 1 and 0, got stretched by 1.5 or multiplied by 3 halves. I'm just going to fill this axis out so I can set a good example for y'all. And there you go. There's the graph of y plus 3 halves x squared. Your points are negative 2 comma 6, negative 1 comma 3 halves, 0 comma 0, 1 comma 3 halves again, and 2 comma 6. Same as from the table of values where we multiplied the y's by 1.5. Uh, I've been interchangeably referring to 1.5 and 3 halves because when you do, when you do 3 halves on your calculator, you can see that it is actually equal to 1.5. They're the same number, so there you go. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.